Tell us a little bit about somebody that has a little experience looking at an engine versus somebody that looks at a, a torn apart engine that has hundreds under their belt. You know, it's really interesting taking apart so many uh, engines over the years. And I was joking with Mazda Tricks about this the other day. It has to have been thousands at this point, um, which is just incredible um, over a 20 year span. Um, and uh, you start to notice uh, things that are, you know, trends. You can start to see uh, when you take a motor apart, if it's been running too hot, you can start to see if lubrication was an issue. You can start to see if it was most likely detonation. Uh, by looking at the spark plugs, you can start to see uh, what your EGTs or potential air fuel mixture, uh, mixture was looking like. Um, without knowing some of the previous run history, it's always hard, but there are just telltale signs. And I think sometimes it's really interesting because we'll have customers or just we'll have uh, pictures sent to us, Monster Tricks or KMR, or we'll see stuff online and somebody will say, hey, look at these great rotary parts. And I, I'll look at them and I'm like, man, that's junk. You know, I, I see wear marks or cracking or something that, you know, doesn't always show up to the naked eye or vice versa. You know, I'll see something that uh, somebody has, has, has posted or looked at and it looks very discolored and, and very worn and the reality is when you actually look deeper it's just carbon buildup or it's just a heat uh, heat oil discoloration and i think it's it something i noticed on a, on a post online the other day somebody was talking about uh, discoloration on an eccentric shaft and the eccentric shaft was ruined and and i thought to myself man i'd wipe that off with some acetone and that shaft would probably look gorgeous <laughs> and so i think it's funny you know after you've handled parts for so long and, and i by no means am the person who's handled them the longest you know Dave's been doing it longer than me and and I learned a lot of what I learned from uh, another engine builder who worked for Racing Beat and for Mazda Speed John Kepler and I continue to research rotaries and this is why I, I think I I look at photos I see online and, and have opinions but it's always neat to get opinions from other builders too because I think at a certain point you know I look at an engine part or an apex seal and to me, it can look totally average because I've seen so many things. And that could be average used up or average good condition. But uh, when you really get down to it, every uh, piece and, uh, and every look uh, that engines have, whether they be piston or rotary, has some type of history behind it. And uh, it's cool to see with uh, social media pushing so much in the automotive industry and then seeing the rotary industry grow as it has for the past few years to see new things and people talking about stuff and I've seen things blown up in ways I've never seen them blown up before and I've also seen things where somebody goes wow I've never seen this and I go yeah I've seen that too and uh, and so it's, it's just great to uh, see the rotary motor kind of you know having a whole resurgence in the industry and just for me looking at this point being that I've looked at thousands of rotary motors, man, I, I just want to see thousands more because uh, I think we're going to see the limits get pushed, um, you know, uh, lubrication, uh, spark plug technology, ECU technology, it's all getting better and each component allows us to push the envelope further. So that's kind of the joy of looking into a bunch of motors is sometimes you get a little jaded, they all look the same, but. It also is just an immense amount of knowledge. Uh, so if you have the opportunity to take motors apart, whether you think they're junk or not, take them apart, check them out, clean them up, see what you learn.